Now you might wonder why Table Mountain is flat, but to understand it you have to see the bigger picture. Good morning internet, it is uh, 9.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. The tires arrived and the air filter arrived. So I'm now going to the bike shop and then uh, Savannah is getting some new shoes on. There we are, back at the shop. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, this is how you do it. Nice system. Pop it up here for now. Are you happy to do the wheel, the tires first? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Compared to new. Mm. Sure. Okay, so let's not just put that back in like that. Yeah, maybe clean it. Really nice it's very filthy. I think I'm doing a really bad job. But I try to one. Alright, so when we change the front tire. Then we checked the wheel bearings and they were quite a bit worn. So David changed the wheel bearings, um, but now we also need to change the steering head bearings. These are all still original parts and the steering head bearings are worn as well. So I was already noticing that when riding. Um, so now David's gonna do this. Stuck. Just very, 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 very sticky on it. Usually they just glide off. I'm going to clean this up nicely. But you said the, um, the lubricant inside was, was not old. good anymore. No, it was yeah. old and gunky. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm going to all clean that all out now. Just putting some good bearing grease on here. So in the meantime, let me show you another improvement that Savannah got. I finally have a foot enlarger. So now it would be a lot easier to park in soft material like sand and stuff. I was really missing it from the beginning. Uh, but David had one in his shop, so I finally got this one as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then obviously when the steering head bearings are changed, they will make a massive improvement to uh, riding. Because I could really notice that it, they were just gone. They were still original, so it was about time I think that they got changed as well. Um, it always looks a bit sad when you have to change the steering head <laughs> bearings because this is how she looks like now. But it's only temporarily, so soon she will be fine again. Um, and then obviously you have the new tires on. I'll show you this the rear tire now with the Mita 07 Plus tires. I just stepped out of the workshop real quick because um, the generator's on, so it's really noisy. Uh, but David is now changing my grips. Uh, I just bought new grips because Savannah fell over uh, when it was really windy. It was my fault. But anyway, she fell over to the right side and my grip got damaged. Unfortunately, even though I have to head um, the guards, I don't know exactly what happened. But anyway, she fell really hard on it and it was damaged. Um, so that's why my grip actually got stuck a little bit and it was really hard to give throttle. So now I just got some uh, new grips as well. So Savannah is getting like nice, nice little upgrades. I'm <laughs> really happy with it. That. that is that. Woohoo! That that. She is ready. And Savannah also got an extra sticker here. Ooh. Look at it. Overland Motorrad. Ready? Yes. Cool. 
Check out my new grips. So you saw the clip that I gave you on there? Oh. So there's a red one to go with the red. Oh, thank this you. This one I see was already. Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, thanks a lot. See you. <laughs> New tires. I have to ride a little bit careful. Like the first uh, 200 k's, I have to be careful if it's like wet or whatever. Get some proper heat into the tires, but uh, just feels good. She's got some upgrades here and there, you know. Oh, David was such a good, good guy. He really went out of his way to help me with everything. So uh, if you're in Cape Town area looking for a good bike shop, Overland Motorrads or his old name Cape Bike Tire. Oh, I need to maybe ride a bit faster. Now really, really awesome place. Nice guy, good mechanic. So uh, I'm really happy with all the work on uh, Savannah. There's one more thing that uh, I might get my hands on uh, crash guards. They're actually for the CRF rally, not the not not this one, not Savannah, which is the 250L. But the crash guards for the CRF rally should also fit this bike. Not perfectly, but it will still do the job. And I've been searching for them in South Africa without any results. But uh, David has a good contact. So I uh, might pop in in the next two days to uh, get my hands on that uh, crash guard. That would be awesome, but let's see. All right, it is time to explore uh, downtown Cape Town. Have a little uh, ride around. The first area I'm gonna ride to is called Boca. It's a windy day today. I hope uh, it will be okay because after I ride around city center, I want to go up Table Mountain today. But uh, there's like 35 uh, kilometer per hour wind. So <laughs> let's see. Anyway, first uh, check out city center. Pretty close now, I think. Magistrates Court. Market here. See, up there is Table Mountain. You can see it really well from this side. Oh, this is cool. Very old church here. Alright, I'm in Bocap. This is probably the most photographed street here in Cape Town with all these colorful houses here. Right. Dorp Street. So this part of town is where mostly Cape Malay people live and the Cape Malay people that live here are actually descendants from slaves that were brought here by the Dutch. Very um, dark page, one of the dark pages in uh, Dutch history. Um, it was in the times when the Dutch were colonizing Indonesia and they brought slaves from Java, the island of Java to here and so the people that um, still live here are 
descendants from those people. And the Cape Malay people are uh, Muslim. There's about uh, 10 uh, mosques around this area as well. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, there's one. I just spotted one. See, this is one of the mosques. There's nine more scattered around this area. Mountain. Here we come. Sometimes you have to wait for hours to be able to get up there if it's busy. So let's hope it's not too busy today. No idea where I can park actually. Hi! Do you work here? Where can I park? More up there or? Further up there. Are you coming? Are you coming to go up the mountain? Yeah, I want to go up the mountain. It's closed now. It's closed? Yes. Why? Wind is very, very strong on top. Too much wind. Oh, shame. Okay, do you think it will open later today? No. No, not anymore. Not today. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. It is closed! Oh no! Yeah, I, I knew it was very windy, as I said before, but uh, I didn't know that they would close down with this wind. Guess makes sense. That's a shame. Then I will actually don't know if I will be able to get up Table Mountain. I think I'll have to come back to Cape Town another time. Because... Uh, I want to leave Cape Town soon again. Well, I have to leave Cape Town because my visa is running out. I don't have much time anymore on my visa. So South Africa is kind of kicking me out in like a week or two. So um, I obviously am going to make my way, or obviously I'm going to make, wake, make my way up to Namibia, right across the border there. So I still have to ride like the, the west coast of South Africa. So I will need two weeks for that, I think. There's some, some things to see there as well. Here, at least have a good look on this view. Very cool. You know what, I'll just see if I can ride up to Lion's Head Mountain a little bit. At least then I have a nice view on Table Mountain. That's the plan. See if I can ride up there a little bit, like that road. Not sh exactly sure how, how I get there. But I'll uh, see. Signal Hill. Oh, it's Signal Hill. Maybe not Lion's Head. I'm not sure. There's another mountain somewhere here, <laughs> which is called Lion's Head. I thought it was this one, but I guess not. This is Signal Hill then. It's 
all still part of the Table Mountain National Park. I think this is a pretty nice view over Cape Town here and then Table Mountain. Now you might wonder why Table Mountain is flat, but to understand it you have to see the bigger picture because it looks like Table Mountain is a standalone feature and it just kind of pops up, pops up here, but that's not actually the case. It's part of a much larger system called the Cape Fold Belt and that mountain range extends 700 kilometers that way all the way to Port Elizabeth and then here it kind of makes a turn and goes into that direction towards an area which is called the Sederberg. And another thing you have to keep in mind is that sometimes it is not about what you see but it's about what you don't see. So Table Mountain is made of quartzitic sandstone and, and quartzite is really, really hard and it's very resistant to weathering. Around it, around this area, there used to be another rock type called shale, which is much softer and very prone to weathering. So the fact that we still see Table Mountain is actually the result of all the other rocks being weathered away. So they are gone, which is why we still see Table Mountain. And millions of years ago, this rock was actually sitting at the bottom of a valley. And around that time, there was also a glaciation era. So there was a layer deposited on top, which is called tillite, which is a glacial deposit. That is all weathered away. So what you now see is only that quartzitic sandstone which remains. And it all got pushed up because of tectonic forces around 200 million years ago. I think Cape Town has a pretty unique setting. But table mountains like this one are actually not unique. So this is not the only table mountain in the world. There are more table mountains. But I guess this is the most famous one because it sits right here. Uh, in Cape Town and just overlooking the city, which is really quite cool. Yeah, what to do? Shame I can't get to the top, but such is life. So I think now I will just ride back down and then I'm going to ride a little bit past the waterfront to an area called Camps Bay, which is also really, really beautiful. So that right there is Camps Bay. What a location, right? So this is Camps Bay Beach. Pretty nice. This is where that recent fire was. It's very windy. See, this is all burnt. All of this. Anyway, that was it for today now. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.